Hi, this is Amy Lewis. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, I'm Amy Lewis, and we're back with the international edition of Engineers Unplugged. We've got Juan, and we've got Matthew, and we're going to be talking about anything you can do, I can do meta. What does this mean? Do I speak this language? Let's find out. Take it away, Matthew. Thanks, Amy. Um, yeah, Juan and I were, were kind of challenging um, your, uh, you wanted us to talk about cloud adoption in Europe. And, you know, uh, Juan works for VMware, I work for EMC. We, we often get asked by even our employers, uh, why isn't cloud adoption higher uh, in Europe? And the reality, I guess in my mind anyway, um, we start to look at, you know, private and public and, you know, I was kind of thinking, you know, we're not really seeing adoption, we're seeing, at least from my perspective, the evolution, not revolution, we're seeing the evolution of, what, IT departments into their own service providers, yeah? I mean, that, that's kind of where we got started anyway. Yeah, exactly. Many, many, especially uh, like we've been talking before, this enterprise customer, the evolution in their IT departments yeah. to become their own internal service provider, they are starting to build their own catalog of service, their own catalog of applications to be consumed by their users. And then there is not much cloud adoption, but it's like especially private cloud adoption, okay. private cloud adoption. And, and do you, um, so that's a really interesting point because the other thing that we were kind of discussing was um, at least in the UK or, or with a lot of customers that I talk to, um, you know, Amy was, was kind of jokingly referring to the fact that it's the international edition, but yeah. Um, you know, I speak German, Hebrew, and that's going to be about completely useless in speaking Spanish with you, but we all kind of, um, we come back to English uh, as, as our meta language. We all speak geek. Um, do you have, uh, I don't really see a lot of customers um, worrying so much about private and public, and, but their, their definitions. Um, kind of bringing that back to meta, do you have a service catalog? Do you have bronze, silver, gold? Um, from your perspective, are you seeing customers still defining it private, public, and, and otherwise, or how is that working out? Yeah, we're seeing now, at this moment, that our customers are defining their service catalog, are, they are defining their meta, they're starting to use their API, they're starting to use all the, no, I don't, you said here, software defined data center, I don't like that. Okay. So what would you, okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, software defined data center, bit of a, buzzword, big data, cloud. Exactly. Okay, one. so if it's not a software-defined data center, what would you be describing, how would you describe this picture then? I will describe, describe this picture more like customer-defined data center now. Okay, so you would, you would actually put, here, you, you draw, Amy gets sore us if we kind of come out of camera. Um, so you would actually say it's not so much that, yeah, the, the software is there, but really what you're talking about in meta is the customer-defined data center. Okay, so let me let me kind of throw a, a, a thought out at you that we were talking about before. In my world as, as kind of a data guy, from a meta perspective, I have to build, uh, in order for this really to work, I have to build a bridge between these two things. Now, some people call this hybrid, um, but you know, I think it's a bit of a, a, a lumpy term because really for me at a data perspective, there are some people that will replicate this there's some people that'll do backups and then ship them across. We get too geeky. From my perspective, um, you know, I like that. You know, I like the API integration. So basically what you're saying then is, if I understand you properly, customer-defined data center could be, you know, the, the entire entity. Is that, is that kind of where you're going with that around meta? Yeah, exactly. That's the way they are doing. They are not moving in first to the public cloud. They are only moving some wireless to the public cloud. And now they're starting to use the API as the meta, as the glue of the new, as the glue and as the meta of the new customer defined data center. Okay, so let me let me challenge you then. Um, the thing I, I hear all the time, customers are generally kind of when we start this journey conversation with them, they're generally bought into it uh, before not too long. But they always ask me that one well, they ask me more than one question, but the one question they usually start with is, what's that aftershave? Because it's really awful. I'm joking. Um, what they ask you, <laughs> hey, I got a laugh, right? Yeah. Um, what, they, what they tend to ask is, where do I start or how, more importantly? In my mind, it, I, I tend to start here. I, I, I tend to walk them through, okay, you know, do you have a, a, a service catalog? Do you, you know, do you do metering? Do you do billing? 
where do you, where would you advocate kind of taking, starting the conversation, um, you know, for the, the journey for this customer, and more importantly, if I was a customer watching this now, or anybody out there watching this, where would they start in your opinion? I can't agree with you with that. I agree because you have to start first by defining the catalog of service. What do you want? Where do you want to go? Where? So if, to go there, you need the meta, exactly. You have to define your service of catalog. You have to define your, your catalog of application for meta. What services are going to offer for your internal users? What are the needings? So in your view, then? Exactly. And then that leads yes, to we, Exactly, yeah. Okay, fair enough. What, what, do you see any, um, you know, one of, the, one of the problems, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Nobody can hear us. Um, one of the challenges here though, um, and I try to stay away from um, product names as best I can, but if I um, use, for a second, Viper, right? A lot of people outside of EMC uh, don't really completely understand what that's about. But, you know, from my perspective, we've already touched on it here with the APIs, and we're just abstracting that control layer uh, between here, so if I drew kind of Viper there, right, and then did that. Let's assume that the customer's already well down the, the, their definition of, of meta and into a catalog. Are there any potential pitfalls, in your opinion, having worked with customers? Any things that you, any things that you would avoid in this scenario? Yeah, because I, I've seen in, in, in many customers. They have now defined their own, mana their own management solutions for the private thing, for the AID, for the vSphere, for the Hyper-V, for the whatever virtualization solution or private cloud solution they have used. So therefore, it had to have very clearly defined, and up from here, they can move from here, because they can use the same tools to manage the whole customer that's defined at the center. Okay, so I, I guess the final, the final wrap-up thought then, you know, customers, uh, Amy and uh, all you folks out there, um, I, if I understand you, don't go scrapping anything. You don't necessarily need to put anything in the bin, it's just we need to go back and redefine it with the meta and with the catalog to make full use of it. Which I, I'm, I'm there, I would buy that as well. So I love it, basically I'm hearing is don't let your cloud get lost in translation. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna have to challenge them to draw a metric unicorn. They've been making fun of me, so let's see a unicorn in base 10. Go, go, go. Um, yeah. Remember though, they, they no ounces or pounds. Yeah, it's in metric. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many milliliters of water does the average metric corn consume over a day? I got to tell you that. See, they're, they're just bigger in Europe, right? You could call it a llama corn if you really want to. <laughs> going to the unicorn bar. <laughs> I love it. So now we, we found the secret for um, European unicorns. <laughs> I'll let the viewers decide <laughs> what that means. <laughs> well, thank you both. This is a really interesting discussion. I love hearing about the, the adoption and the customers as they are both similar and different. So similarities is customers want their problem solved. Difference, we go at it maybe a little bit different, different way, but we got to start with the customer. So thanks, Juan. Thanks, Matthew. We'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged.